Hello Gamer Nation, this is D22 with you today from the Gay22 Gaming's channel. Hello there, as you can see, I'm not using any hands to make the camera float. Ooh, I'm just using that little thing that you see there. Anyways, we're going to be doing a mini unboxing, so the unboxing we're going to be doing is for this. Yes, this is not the SNES Classic Edition, but an unlicensed product imitation of the SNES. So, we're just going to see what this box has. So, it has the insignia of the classics, has a picture of the actual console in the box, and the two controllers. It has 660 games. It says mini game anniversary edition, amusement system, inbuilt classic games. And, and there is the product SKU. And then it also shows on the side here the designation of what's in the console. So it's a TV game console, model HL41. Input power is 5 volts to 500 milliampere, 660 classic games built in. And then on the side here, unfortunately, it says here 8 bit video amusement system super classic game so this only has the 8-bit games in it so it doesn't have the snes game so we are going to open the box and we're going to see what's inside so now this is the console itself this is of a raspberry pi make where it has in the back there your av out plug and also your dc in plug and a micro USB port to power it. And then this also has the on button like this, and then you can turn it off and on, then you can also reset it just like any other console. And to hook up the controllers, you just flip it like this, and then the plugs get exposed like that. And then if you are done playing, you simply close it up, and that is all. So that's the actual console. And on the box, it came with two game pads, as you can see here, they are, like imitation sizes of the actual game pads and then it comes with also an AC adapter with micro USB plug and then it also comes with your audio video plugs your red white and yellow so now that we've seen the contents we are gonna see and also I forgot to mention this to you it also comes with a documentation card with all 600 games on here now this is a big list the games that are on this sheet are all on the system so we're gonna see if this thing will work in the next clip here we go okay so we have our system all connected and set up to power and also to AV and then we got our controller plugged in what I also forgot to mention is that it also came with a user menu Y I think that's supposed to say manual but we're just gonna take a look inside the user manual just to see what it says here on how to operate the system so that we know right away and have a crash course okay so has built in 660 games in total, which cannot be changed. It uses a 5 volt charge for power supply and available storage is 110 volts to 20. So the ordinary household power source can afford that. Okay, very specific. It will send with an AV cable which support TV output. Okay, game console buttons for the four function keys to support even the fight function. Opponent speed and operational requirements are higher, the game is better. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, never allow children to play it alone <laughs> for it comes to the power using. To the power using? Oh, yeah, don't be a power user. Please turn off machine and operate it after cooling, which where is something wrong with the running machine, like system halted. Never put the machine stay at some pieces. I don't think. Okay, I think what they're trying to say here is that don't play it until it gets too hot. And never disassemble repair machine by yourself. And it may be unavailable for some TV with 4K resolution. So it won't work for 4K. Uh, don't allow children under three. Never play with the transformer. It's not a toy. Machine is available for those recommended transformers conforming to standard. Disconnect the machine with power when cleaning. Please check lines. Never play with other power sources. Not recommended. Okay, so it shows you a diagram. Uh, introduction of the buttons. Start and select. Directional pad. And then it also has the uh, adapter input, reset, port for start two, start, single hop, power indicator, select, continuous shot. Okay, so that's just basically how to set up. So uh, connection to the TV, one for VD, vid, video. <laughs> I don't know if they spelled that right, but that's okay. One for video, one for audio. And then there may be some differences when connecting different televisions. HD features not yet open. So it's pretty self-explanatory. So we've been able to get one of the games working here. I had to put the controller on the other side because the ports were a little mixed up. So we're going to try and reset it again. And then we're just going to pick another game. So this is games 1 through 10. 
Let's try Contra 1. Let's just see how that looks. Oh, there's different types of Contras. Okay, let's pick the first Contra. Okay, this is the actual Contra that we want. Okay, this is actually Contra. Okay, all right. So let's press Start for one player. And then we're just going to do a test play to see how it plays here. Nothing fancy. All right, so that's the actual Contra, the actual frame rate there. It's pretty awesome. Okay, I'll try and shoot some. I'll, I'll just shoot, shoot some bad guys. Okay, so I'm just playing this with one hand, so it's kind of tough to play with one hand while I'm filming. All right, so yep, this is actual Contra. We yep, we're just we're playing Contra right now, and that's that's pretty darn amazing. So I'm actually swimming, I'm swimming in the lake, shooting a gun. All right, so so I don't th I. I don't know if the I don't know if the contra code applies here, but that's pretty darn sweet. So we are going to reset it again, and then we're going to pick another game. Let's go and pick. Uh, all right, let's pick. Ooh, this is a good one. Double dragon. Double dragon. Okay, so we had to. Play the intro. All right, so we're gonna pick one player. So mode A, one player. All right. Oh, why'd you have to punch her in the gut? Okay, so this is the classic game. So they take her. This is basically double dragon. So mission one. All right. But it actually plays pretty good. So it plays really, really good. I mean, not gonna lie. Sorry about the shakiness. I'm just really excited about this. So that's how it plays, and it's pretty good to the original emulation. Now, I'm not going to actually show you all 600 games, but there's there's the entire list of games here. And then they got RoboCop 1 through 4, Adventure Island, Chippendale, Hot Blood Wrestling, Mortal Kombat 4, Street Fighter... I don't think they have the Street Fighter that I'm thinking about. Spider-Man, Batman, Power Ranger? All right, let's check out Power Ranger. Okay, so that must be the Jew Ranger. Bandora! Okay. So that's basically Bandora. So this is the uh, Jew Ranger show. If you haven't seen the Super Sentai Jew Ranger, then you probably won't understand most of this. I mean, that's that's the Tiger Ranger, and then that's... All right, so this is the game that was played on the ABGN series, Super Sentai Jew Ranger. So this is the actual Nintendo game that ABGN reviewed. So it's your it's your it's your standard side scroller. I mean, it's not bad. It's not good either. But uh, yeah, so that's the next one. Okay, we're gonna do one more just for the sake of it. So let's just pick. Let's pick another game. We got eight Contras, Tiny Toons, Robocop, and there's like 600 more here. Like, so many games. Like, this is like the ultimate machine to play them. So let's go... Like, a ton of games. Tons and tons and tons and tons of games. They got the classic Donkey Kong here. Let's, let's do that. Alright, so let's play Donkey Kong. Yeah, Donkey Kong. Oh, that's my that's my jam right there. Okay, so they actually got Donkey Kong on here. So, Donkey Kong. This is this is the actual Donkey Kong on here, and it plays really really good. So, I'm just playing with one hand so that I can demonstrate to you how it plays here. I can't really jump. I'm gonna let the barrel run over me, but. But that, yeah, that's actually Donkey Kong playing on a, on a bootlegged Nintendo console. So it's not too bad. So I hope you found this video informative and helpful. And if you want to know where to... Farts. If you want to know where to buy...